Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope that you and your loved ones are safe, healthy, and doing well during this time. And if you're new here, my name is Emily and I love to make videos about fashion, jewelry, lifestyle, and anything magical. In today's video, it is one of my favorite videos. It is a David Stee haul and quite a big David Stee haul because I really needed to stock up on some of my favorite teas I was doing actually pretty good at just kind of making a list and deciding to go through my massive tea collection and try to enjoy some of those teas first before ordering more. But it's tough when you have those staple teas that you constantly are drinking. Like for me, there's a couple staples that you're gonna see in here. Some of them you might already know, like the skinny David's Breakfast, just to name a few. So those are gonna be in here. But I also ordered and stocked up on some of my favorite matcha teas and a bunch of other stuff too. So if you'd like to see what I picked out from David's Tea, on well, their Easter, I should say, make sure to grab a delicious cup of tea, of course, because how can you do a David's Tea haul without a delicious cup of tea? And I'm actually enjoying some iced David's Tea matcha. It is so good, it's so delicious, and it's a really yummy treat. So cheers, you guys, and let's get started with the David's Tea haul. Okay, so here is my really big David Stee box, and I actually got this a couple days ago. I actually got it on a Friday, and I'm filming this on a Monday, and I'm so excited, you guys. We're going to open this up. Let's dive into it. So we got my order forms. I'll just put that over here, and I'm so excited, guys. I'm so excited. I think it's going to fall. Okay, so... We have our labels, so David's Tea always sends some labels and things, so here's kind of a little sneak peek at some of the teas that I got. And basically, you can put these labels on the tins that they send you, or you can also put them on your own tins or containers that you have at home. So they're very useful, and I love them because they keep you nice and organized. Okay, and then what David's Tea usually does is they have everything, hopefully it's showing you guys there, they have everything nice and kind of put up with some bubble, bubble paper, um, tissue paper, and a little David's Tea sticker. Here is my massive David's Tea haul of all the teas I got. And I don't even know if there's going to be a logical order to this. We'll just kind of go from, uh, you know, where we're going. So the first thing I'm pulling out is the bubble gum matcha. This, you know what, I actually ordered 50 grams, I think it was a couple months ago maybe, two months ago now, because I just wanted to try it and I ended up loving it, so I decided to order more. I wasn't sure about the bubblegum flavor, if that would be something that I would be into, because usually I don't like really sweet drinks, but the bubblegum iced was amazing, you guys. So if it's one that you're kind of contemplating about and you're not sure if you're going to like it or not, I highly recommend it because I, I loved it. It was just such a great summer tea. The next item that I'm pulling out here is Rainbow Lemonade. And you guys, this is so delicious. So this is a fruit infusion tea. And it has apple, pineapple, orange peel, raspberry, hibiscus, lemon peel, blackberries, orange, cornflower petals, raspberries. It's a little bit of pineapple. And this tea is just so delicious. Now. I've been enjoying it iced, but I've also tried it hot and it tastes so good. So I had to stock up on some more. It's just such a refreshing tea. And it's definitely been one of my favorite summer teas that I've been kind of constantly making, hence why I ended up ordering more of it. So if you want to try something that's really delicious iced, but it's also will work, you know, and you know, once the season kind of ends and you want some more hot beverages, this also just tastes so good. So I definitely recommend Rainbow Lemonade. Next tea we're pulling out here, I have the Happy Valley Darjeeling Tea. This is another tea I've talked about. I'm pretty sure I did a Tea Time Tuesday on my Instagram, IGTV, at Fashion Storyteller on this. It is so good, and I believe that they are actually retiring this, which I'm really sad because it is so good. So basically, it is a black tea from India, and it's just, oh, it just tastes so good. You don't even need to add like a milk or a nut milk to it. It tastes just as good on its own, but it does taste really good, you know, if you do want to add a little bit of milk too. So I'm really sad they're retiring this. I'm pretty sure I stocked up 
So I'm probably gonna see some repeats of these teas, so I'll kind of go past those. So yeah, here we go. We have another Happy Valley Darjeeling tea, so that's there. Oh my gosh, one of my favorite teas. I love oolong tea, so I'd say like, Green tea slash matcha is like my number one favorite type of tea, but then moving into category two is oolong. And oolong is something that I make every single day, especially the skinny, like I find myself making this in the evening, I make it in the morning, in the afternoon, like doesn't matter whatever time of day, it just tastes so good and I'm a huge fan of the skinny. So the skinny has puree tea in it as well as the oolong tea. There's organic ginger, orange peel, you got some roots and it just, it's a really good like digestive tea, which hence the name the skinny, but I just love the little bits of ginger in it and just that oolong flavor and it's just, it tastes so good you guys. So I highly recommend this tea. Next we're moving into another matcha tea and I stocked up on some more blueberry matcha. Again, something that I really do enjoy ice, but if you do make it as a hot latte, it tastes good too. I'm more partial though for these being iced. I think they taste so amazing ice. So a lot of the fruity teas from David Steve, my go-to option is making them ice because they're so good, especially this time of the year in the summertime. Moving along, we have more of the skinny tea. I actually stocked up. I think I got like 250 or 300 grams of the skinny. So two more bags of the skinny, which I'm excited about. And let's see what else we have. We have another skinny. So it's right here. Let's see. And got Another bag of the skinny. Can you tell that this is one of my favorite teas from David's Tea? It's kind of funny because it's just like, it's a tea that I literally make like pretty much every single day. So I'm always stocking up on it. So I'm pretty sure, I'm not positive, but I'm pretty sure anytime I've done a haul video, I probably have the skinny in it or, or regret not ordering the skinny because <laughs> I'm usually out of it. It's my go-to. And usually I would go to the David's Tea store sometimes to pick it up too, but I'm really sad that so many are closing. I don't know about your guys' area if you're a fellow David's Tea fans, but I'm so sad um, to hear that some of the, the retail stores are closing. So many locations are closing. Actually, only one in my area is gonna be staying open, which I'm really lucky and thankful for, but I'm sad for some of my friends who are losing their David's Tea store. They are gonna still be available online, which is the best news and the good news because I would be so heartbroken if if David's tea went out of business like oh my gosh you guys I would be like not to be dramatic which it is very dramatic but it would feel like the end of the world because I just love David's tea so much I love tea so much so I'm really thankful that they're still you know in business on like you know the internet on their e-store they're also appearing and popping up in different Canadian grocery stores so definitely keep an eye out at your grocery store to see if you have David's tea there my friend McTrish if you follow her on Instagram she was telling me that and I'm like that's so cool because I had heard from David's tea that they were planning to pop up in a grocery stores but I didn't realize they're already in some grocery stores my area they, they don't seem to be in there just yet I'm also sad because a lot of the David's tea in the states actually all of the David's tea stores in the states are closing down so it's so tough with COVID-19 and you know kind of the impacts you know so it's been tough but I'm again I'm gonna keep saying I'm so thankful they're still online so it's really good the next tea that I have to share with you is the Phoenix oolong tea I again I love oolong tea this tea is amazing so this tea is oolong tea from Phoenix Mountain in China and it just you guys it tastes so delicious and the flavor and the aroma of it it is such a treat tea so I really enjoy having this and again oolong is kind of my go-to tea to make throughout the day besides green tea and I just I love this then we have another phoenix oolong so I have two of those and then let's pull out some here all right and then I just saw that there was a couple matcha bags so I decided to grab a bunch to show you guys so I have peach matcha one of my faves again tastes amazing ice but I also do enjoy making it as a latte hot we also have a blueberry matcha another blueberry matcha we have mojito matcha which whoops I'm dropping tea <laughs> we have mojito matcha and this one I'm actually like, I haven't tried this before. So I'm kind of excited to see what it's gonna taste like. Will it taste like a mojito? What is it gonna be like as a matcha? I bet it's gonna be amazing ice. So this one I got to try and I'll let you guys know what I think I might do it in a Tea Time Tuesday on Instagram. So stay tuned for that. 
and then I also had to pick up another strawberry matcha too. Then I just pulled out another Phoenix oolong tea, so can you tell that I like it? So I'm gonna move that over here. You guys, I have like tea everywhere. There's tea behind me, there's tea like under here. Oh my goodness. I wasn't kidding when I told you I ordered a lot of tea, right? I got another rainbow lemonade, so that's hiding here. And we have David's breakfast blend. And oh my goodness, this is one of my favorite teas to make in the morning if I'm not making a matcha. So I know I'm, I'm pretty sure there's going to be a couple more in this box, but I ordered quite a few of David's breakfast tea. It's so good. It's a black tea from Sri Lanka, and it just tastes it tastes amazing as a latte. I really do love having it with my almond milk or my oat milk, but if you drink regular milk, milk, you know, of course, tastes really good with it too. And Oh, it's such a classic. It's such a staple tea. Okay, you guys, and now I'm pulling out some blueberry jam, and blueberry jam is my jam. It's a black tea. It is so delicious. So it's just the perfect balance of a lovely black tea with that infusion of blueberries. So in it, you have organic black tea, black currants, blueberries, elderberries, blueberry flavoring, corn flowers, natural raspberry flavoring, and a tiny bit of stevia, which just brings out that blueberry flavor that much more. And I personally love making blueberry jam as a latte. I think it tastes amazing, but it also tastes good just on its own. You just pour a tiny little bit of milk, almond milk, oat milk in it. It's so good. Personally, um, I, as a lot of you guys know, I can't have dairy, so my go-to usually with tea is almond milk, but sometimes I do like adding oat milk instead. So some blueberry jam, I love it, it's so good. All right, you guys, and we still have, oh my gosh, so many teas to go through. So I'm noticing here that I have another bubblegum matcha, so that's here. I did wanna get a couple more matchas of that because it was so good. I'm also noticing that I have my green passion fruit. This is a tea that I've always loved from David's Tea. It is so good. So it is a green tea, and in it you have pineapple, green tea, black currants, passion fruit, cornflower petals, and just a couple other little things. And it just, it is just such a refreshing tea. I really do love making this tea iced. It tastes amazing and the flavor is just so delicious so i had to get some more green passion fruit this is always my go-to um green tea of the summer it's just so like i said refreshing fruity just a lovely balance then we have another peach matcha which i love and then of course another phoenix oolong tea because it was retiring i did want to stock up on a couple more options so you'll notice that sometimes when teas retire emily likes to stock up on those so then I have Tai Kwan Yin, and I'm gonna apologize in advance if I pronounce that wrong. This is also an oolong tea from Taiwan, and I have not tried this yet, so I am very curious to know what it tastes like. And yeah, expect another tea review for Tea Time Tuesday or on my blog, Fashion Storyteller, and I'll let you know what I think of this oolong tea. <laughs> I had to get this, you guys. So this is a long wooden matcha spoon, and this is really useful for the bay. So if I keep my matcha in the bags or in bigger tins, this is so great because it's so it has a lot more length than the other matcha spoon I have. So I have the perfect matcha spoon in the teal color and in the silver, but they're little itty bitty ones and they're good for the small matcha tins that I have. But these ones are so awesome at going in the bag and you can really scoop up all that matcha goodness. So I decided to get one of these and it's cute because it has David's Tea logo just on the end of it and then a nice round wooden spoon up at the front of it. And I just really love it and I just finally caved and I just decided, you know what? I just need to order this. It's so cute, why not? All we have now are tins, and it looks like David T actually sent me, oh my goodness, it looks like they sent me a bunch of jumbo tins. So let's see here. We have one, oh my goodness, <laughs> I have all the tins here. Two, oh my gosh, let's see. Three, so they actually sent me a bunch of jumbo tins because I ordered so much of the same tea, which these are pretty useful, I'm not gonna lie, because when you do have staple teas that you love, it's awesome to put in here. So thank you so much for these David tea. They're so, as you guys can see, they're so, they're so big. So it has really nice, it's nice and big. You can fit a lot in it. And you used to be able to take these to the store and if you refill these tins, you would actually save a discount off your tea. So if a David's Tea store is still staying open in your area and you didn't know that, 
bring your teas in because they will, if you do refill them with some tea, you do save a discount off them, which is always really awesome. Anyway, that is it for today's Davis Tea Haul. As you guys can see, I kind of went a little overboard. I bought like all the tea, but I literally was out of all these teas and I like needed to stock up so, so bad. So, well, this is, this is it. So I'm really excited. There was a couple of teas, as you guys saw, that I haven't tried before. So I can't wait to make those. I'm so excited to have some more matchas um, in my collection again because I I got went through like all my fruit matchas and I was like having withdrawals. I'm like, I need my peach matcha, my strawberry matcha. So I couldn't wait for this order to come in the mail. So literally I'm gonna finish enjoying this iced matcha that I made. I will go ahead and leave links down below in my description bar of the different teas that I picked out if you would like to try them. They are affiliate links because last year I had the crazy dream of, dream come true I should say, of becoming a David's Tea affiliate and I still can't believe it. It is so crazy and I wouldn't have had that opportunity without each and every one of you in this community. So just Thank you so much, you guys. It truly means a lot, and it means so much that you guys actually use these links and support me. Like, you guys are just the best, so thank you so, so much. Anyway, you guys, that is it for today's video. I hope that you and your loved ones continue to stay safe, stay healthy, and that you're enjoying a wonderful summer, if it's summer in your area. And take care. I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now, you guys.